What's up everybody, this is Ryan with School Rubric and today I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to resize a photo for different social media platforms. It's a really great tool to easily resize your photos. Now before we get started and we go into Canva, you are gonna either need Canva Pro or for you teachers and educators out there, you're gonna need Canva for educators, which is actually free if you just go through a little bit of paperwork and prove that you are a teacher. Anyhow, let's get started so that we can create something for all social media that we want to post to. So here we are on the home page of Canva. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a thumbnail for this video. So we want to create a design and we want to create a YouTube thumbnail. And I'm just doing a quick search. There it is, 1280 by 720 pixels. I'm gonna come right here and it's gonna bring up a bunch of different templates that we can use to create our, our thumbnail for YouTube. And I'm just gonna pick this one which comes up right away, best surfing clips. Uh, we aren't making a surfing video, so we're gonna go ahead and rename this. And before I do that, let me just come in here and ungroup this so I can have a little bit more flexibility with what I'm doing. Okay, how to resize photos for social media using Canva. There you have it. And we're gonna wanna obviously change the size a little bit. Let's bring this down to maybe 320. And it's got a lot of spacing going on here. So let's see if I can kind of bring that spacing in just a little bit. That way I can bring my sizing up a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Obviously, this isn't a surfing video, so we're not gonna use this surfing background. Um, so we're gonna wanna kind of come up with a little bit of a different background. Let's delete that and come over here to some backgrounds, maybe add a nice little dark gradient. Uh, I like that a little better, pops nice. And since I'm the one doing this video, I'm gonna go ahead and add a picture of myself. Uh, you can easily upload an image of yourself on your computer. You would just come over here to upload, upload media, go to device and grab something from your computer. I've already done that. So we're gonna cancel here. Uh, look at my uploads. And there I have a picture of myself. I can bring that in right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and bring both of these up a little bit so I'm not covering the letters. And there you have a real simple, cool thumbnail. And what we wanna do now is we're gonna to wanna to resize this for the different social media platforms that we wanna post this to. So first I'm gonna come up here and just go ahead and name it, resizing, resize with Canva. And then this is YouTube. Okay, so we got our YouTube thumbnail and what we're gonna come over here do is this is where the magic happens. We're going to resize. And right now you can see we've got the 1280 by uh, 720. But what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna resize for Facebook, which ideal size for that is 1200 by 800. And then we also want to resize for our stories and maybe uh, Pinterest and this 1280 by 720 actually works really well for Twitter and LinkedIn so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave not gonna add another size to this so we're gonna resize it twice copy and resize and you can see up here it's doing the work for me and right here you can see this would be a great size for obviously our our stories you know we'd want to you have to make some little bit adjustments but it does do a lot of work for us probably want to resize some of the lettering that looks pretty good maybe a little bit smaller let's come here to 45 there we go bring this down a little bit whoops make a few little adjustments to this here I am nice and big um, you know, you've also got, there's some great little tools over here that you can use to sort of uh, add some elements. So say I wanted to add like a, a Twitter, Twitter icon, um, or, you know, in the, in the case of you may have 
uh, your logo that you want to put on up here. This is a really great tool for being able to easily just add um, certain elements to your um, to your design. Anyhow, you get the point. You can add your logo there. We don't want to do that. We're going to go back to this. So I've got here my size for stories. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this by the pixels, 1000 by 1500. And let's come over here. This is the 1200 by 800. I don't have to do much to this. A few little tweaks. And this one's going to be ready to go. Just going to make sure I name these properly. 1200 by 800. And there you have it. I have now three sizes that I can use for social media. It's really easy to do this. So if you want to download them, you're just going to come over here and we're going to download this as a JPEG. And I've got my first design right here. I'm going to go ahead and download this again as a JPEG. And then finally for my YouTube uh, thumbnail, and then also I can also use this with Twitter and LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I'm gonna download this as a PNG because that works really nice for YouTube. And so you see, we've got our three downloads. three different images ready to go, which is pretty cool. Right there, I've got all my different sizes and I'm ready to post and have the correct size for each social media platform. So there you have it, a really great tool to resize your images for different social media channels. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and do all that other stuff. Follow us on social media. Until the next video, I'll see you then.